All right, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do, does us have travel? Yeah. You may recognize this old Ford F-150 as our parts truck six shooter. And uh, while we've been away, our friends Dan Atkinson and David Morrow have been doing something pretty odd. They turned it into a cherry picker. So we're gonna use it to lift some stuff. David, what have you got there? Well, we're gonna strap up this big log. This is one we put in the Jeep Gladiator that one day. I think it weighs about 800, maybe a thousand pounds. It's dried out some, so I'm guessing maybe about 800 pounds. What can go wrong? <laughs> Lots of things. Bring it up a bit, Dan. You're dragging. Your butt's dragging. Unbelievable. Do you like it? Yes. Keep going, keep going. Andre likes it. Well, so it did it, but this is officially one of the most redneck things, I hate to say it, I've seen all year. That is a big ass log cantilevered over the back of a roached F-150 held together with some scrap metal and a piece of oil field tubing. Painted oh. blue. But it's David's scrap metal. Well, yeah. So it's, it's special scrap metal. It is special. I've been saving it for just an occasion like this. All right, well, it looks like your guys' contraption can pick up a, uh, a log, but I'm interested to see how well it can drive with that log attached. What's the plan? Well, I think we do need to test our engineering, and I think we ought to be in it. Since we built it, Dan, oh, yeah. I think we ought to test it with us in the cab, just in case something goes wrong. Regular crash test dummies. We, we are, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what I think we ought to do? Helmets? You remember, no, well, maybe that might not be a bad idea. <laughs> I think we ought to go up the mountain that we nearly killed Six Shooter in. Hmm. That would be redemption right there. If it you can, know what? I think you got enough traction this time. What do you think? It's got some weight on the back. <laughs> All right, there's a steep spot. We're gonna go ahead and keep going. I bet we can do it. Heck yeah. I wonder whatever our center of gravity is right now. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we gotta worry about the rollover. All right, I got my door partly <laughs> open here just in case. Hey, I think the one went down. It is a little bit <laughs> straight down right there. You got power? Oh yeah. Are you sweet? Just enough, not, not too much. That is awesome. This is what the 300 is all about, is that low-end goblin <laughs> torque. And you still have steering at this angle? Heck yeah! <laughs> all right, keep going. We'll get up to where it's flat and we can turn around, because we just certainly don't want to turn around on any kind of angle. You ready? I'm coming. Don't leave without me. I want my, oh man, look at the view. I know, isn't it incredible up here? Oh, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. You know what, with the amount of, of uh, suspension travel we got left, man, there's, there's race cars with more suspension travel. I think we may have hit the bump stop a time or two. <laughs> so I got just a little bit of e-brake applied. Gotcha. Good idea. If I, if I wanted to brag, I could just say, yeah, it's driver's skill, but this truck's pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. It just idled right up this thing. Oh yeah.
and y'all thought we were gonna die. <laughs> I'm speechless. And uh, me too. Speechless. It was awesome. <laughs> it didn't even spin a tire up there, Andre. So this is how you get a two-wheel drive truck up anywhere. Yeah. Much. So Andre, it's moving the suspension of the truck, but I think there might be a little bit of frame flex in there too by rocking the log around. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I mean, it is an open sea channel back here, but I think the major problem is, is that, I mean, these leaves are kind of old. We should have done this with Gunsmoke, the HD truck. Yeah. This should be a mandatory test on all of our new procedures. Rip the bed off, put a crane and a log and see how the, uh, the frame flex. See is. manufacturers, when you send us a truck, this is exactly what we'll be doing. Now that we've seen this crazy contraption in action, we have to take a moment to ask David and Dan how and also why they turned our parts truck into a mobile engine hoist. All right, you know, the best thing about TFL Nation is it's like this group of guys that get to talk, and gals that get to talk trucks all the time. Well, Dan, he called me up and said, David, I want six shooter. And I said, why would you want that piece of crap? We've about destroyed it. It's almost like ready for the graveyard. But you can have it because sure. it's six shooter. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so so Dan calls me up and says, I'd like to have it. I says, it's yours. I've got the title. I haven't even signed it over in my name. You can just have it. So we made the deal that I'd, he'd come and pick it up. And then he calls me up and says, I know what I want to do with it. And I said, what? Here it is. It doesn't look pretty, but it is very functional. The reason why I needed something like this is I don't have any flat pieces of concrete or asphalt or anything like that to work. I've got two and a half acres of basically field. I've got stuff I need to do and you cannot roll a cherry picker on grass. I've tried to just, it just sinks. It's, it's awful. When you first look at it, you go, what in the world is wrong with you? You're going to kill us all, but it works. And that's the important thing. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. All right, David, how did you build it? What, what, what was uh, the, the main genesis here? Well, once Dan told me what he wanted to do, he wanted a cherry picker. Then I started thinking about what I had in my junk pile. And I looked at Dan's drawing. He texted me a drawing and said, hey, can we do this? And I said, yeah, we can do this. And I blocked out a day and I said, let's just get her done. So I went in the junk pile. I found this, which is off of a, a three quarter ton pickup at the fifth wheel. And I didn't have, uh, all the parts to make it work but I did have this part and Dan he went and bought a winch and a battery and then this blue piece that Dan's painted Ford blue this is oil fill pipe and this stuff is indestructible right here so we combined all of our junk parts that we had in the back 40 and came up with our cherry picker all right the beautiful thing is, is that the winch comes with a 12 foot remote which means I can be like this kind of going, oh, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Or I can be right here. I can be in the truck. I can be looking through the back window. It, I'm really, really uh, flexible as to what I can do. And thankfully, they give you words on here to tell you what the winch is supposed to do. So all I got to do is to let it down. I hit winch out and it goes down. If I want to go back up, I winch it right back in. And it goes right up and the amount of travel on this thing is just insane. All right, Dan. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it does have travel. Yeah. It does have travel. It's not even the end of it yet. <laughs> what are the plans for this truck then? Well, once we drop this massive traction aid, we're gonna go ahead and load it up on a trailer and uh, we're gonna do a second long distance towing test 1500 miles back home to georgia so you're towing the truck back and there it's going to be a good tool for your property absolutely and with a test like this how could i not be absolutely confident as all as all get out that this thing will be a hard worker for years to come sounds good well i think uh tommy and i both agree that this is one of the weirder things that we've seen in a little while. One of the cooler things i've seen david are you impressed it held up up there well I, yeah i mean my engineering worked yeah and so i was proud of that that's something to be proud of for sure but i was more impressed with uh six shooter and okay. that straight six and the open diff and the, it never even spun a tire going up that hill it's pretty cool it, it was still runs so 
the truck's heading to Georgia with Dan. Um, hopefully Dan can do some update videos so we know what's going on with it. Um, but yeah, this was a fun one to make. Uh, guys, thank you for putting this together. Hey, absolutely. It was an absolute blast. Yeah, it's a contraption for sure. And I love <laughs> yeah, it. it. I gotta love it. Stay tuned to TFL Classics. We got more fun videos coming. Maybe not quite like this, but in the same realm. Got trouble now. No, I ain't got trouble. Had it before and I.